Sir, may I come in? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Take your seat, please. Thank you, sir. Pooja Gupta. Yes, sir. Pooja, English is going to be your preferred medium? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Pooja, you must have noticed that we have taken several steps when it comes to COVID. Yes, sir. And one of the steps is that we have capped your chair at adequate distance so yes, that sir. you feel safe and others will also feel safe. Uh, another advantage of this arrangement is that if you wish to remove your mask, then considering that you are at a safe distance from anybody in this room, uh, then you can consider removing your mask as well. Would you like to remove that? Yes, sir. Please do. Thank you, sir. Comfortable? Yes, sir. Okay. Fine, Pooja, then let us start. I want you to introduce yourself to board members. Sir, I am Dr. Pooja Gupta. I have completed my graduation in Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Presently, I am an IPS uh, under trainee in uh, SVP NPA Hyderabad. So, uh, I am giving my attempt. This is my third attempt in UPSC and I am a resident of Delhi. Okay. Which cadre uh, cadre is allotted to you? Yes, sir. Which cadre? Sir, Telangana cadre. You with Telangana cadre. Okay. So, Pooja, you are basically applying only for Indian Administrative Services. Yes, sir. Apart from uh, obvious career uh, uh, enhancement things. Is there any particular reason uh, apart from this uh, fact that obviously IAS is uh, a service uh, you must have must be aspiring uh, from a long time but uh, is there any other reason why you uh, are changing IPS? You are not happy with the current service? Sir, I am uh, very happy and satisfied with the current job profile. But, uh, sir, the diversity of the job is something which I am aspiring for further. So, that is why I am going for IAS. Okay. I can also see that you, you have not opted for your home cadre. Sir. Any uh, particular reason for this uh, disdain or dislike for uh, a city like Delhi? Sir, actually, I have got married uh, just one month back. So, I have already applied for UP cadre. So, uh, we have to shift to UP uh, I am planning to shift to UP and I have applied for that. So that's why we have planned it long back that we will be shifting to UP probably. Okay, so uh, uh, since your spouse uh, cadre is UP, you believe that uh, that will be a better idea. Sir. So. That makes sense. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, you are happy with Delhi? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, uh, Pooja, tell me, if uh, since you are a uh, police officer already uh, and you are a pro from Delhi only, so, if we look at uh, uh, recent uh, uh, Delhi, uh, recent controversy between uh, Delhi government and the LG thing and police being the primary uh, reason for which uh, these two parties uh, are disagreeing with each other. What exactly is the status? Why uh, uh, Delhi police is such a bone of contention between central government and uh, Delhi government? Sir, so, so Delhi has been given a special status under the constitution. Uh, and it is under the control of central government. So, uh, particularly in police is a matter of state subject per se. So, Delhi government has been demanding uh, control over the police for better administration and for better control over the law and order situation. Sir, this is perhaps the bone of contention between the centre and the state, Delhi government. But uh, recently there was another uh, issue and uh, that pertains uh, in a sense to police but not, not necessarily the law and order thing. It has to do with the uh, appointment of public prosecutors uh, in certain cases which were um, uh, on which uh, Delhi go government and the central government do not exist. But exactly is the, uh, the method. Uh, who appoints public prosecutors and uh, why is it so important? Sir. Why central government uh, is uh, hell-bent on keeping that control? Sir. sir, I am not aware of the method of appointment of public prosecutor. But sir, public prosecutor in the criminal justice system plays a very important role in defending the uh, state in the matters in the court. So, uh, there is a contention for appointment of public prosecutors and uh, sir, regarding the controversy, sir, I am not aware of, sir. Uh, tell me technically what happens. Once an uh, investigation is over, uh, the state becomes the prosecutor. What is the role of police thereafter? Sir, sir, once the case is charge sheeted, sir, it is the public prosecutor which further guides the police. Both of them works in tandem in defending the state against the uh, person who has been charged in the court. So, uh, the prosecutor and the police, they work in close coordination sir, or police is just a witness? Sir, the entire, uh, the, once the charge sheet, once the case has been charge sheeted, 
the case apparently does not ends there and investigation continues so both of them and new facts uh, if co comes up then new sections might be added or deleted or there has to be cer certain modifications might have to be made in the case so in all these situations there has to be constant coordination between the public prosecutor who defends the case in the court of law and the police who picks up and who uh, who points out these areas and issues to the public prosecutor while defending the case do you think that uh, if that is the case then if uh, state fail uh, to get a conviction in a particular case then there should be some accountability of the prosecuting body of the investigating uh, authority uh, investigating body like police but it seems that in our country they get away with the uh, non conviction cases including false cases so sir there is a mechanism which exists at the district level and the state level monthly there is a meeting between the public prosecutor and between the police agencies who takes a review on the cases which could not be convicted and which there was an acquittal so this is a mechanism of holding accountability but yes these are improvements can be made police is taking a, a meeting with the uh, other police officers sir. why they could not do the conviction there is no natural justice in it so public they themselves are sitting on the judgment that why we failed okay we failed next time we will not fail it won't work i never in fact i never came across a situation where a police prosecuting police or investigating officer actually suffered because of non conviction especially in the cases like sedition in the cases like uh, uapa so yes sir. um so this is uh, this is there to some extent but sir as regards to the mechanism yes there is a mechanism to hold accountability where the public prosecutor points out the lacuna that these were the reasons why acquittal happened and conviction could not takes place because their lacuna are pointed out by the defense in the court and they are pointed out to the police who was the main investigating agencies so these meetings are generally taken by the senior officers in the police who are the supervisory officers so they hold accountable the actual investigating officer for the lacuna but implementation at the ground level sir is a matter of concern fine thank you sir Uh, Pooja, our foreign trade in 2010 was roughly 200 billion dollars. That is export trade only. So uh, that increased to more than 300 billion dollars in 2013-14. Uh, but last year, that is in 2019-20, it is still uh, around 330 billion dollar. That means from 2010 to 14, it increased almost 50 percent. But thereafter, it is stagnant from 13 to 19. Why? Sir, since 2019, there had been headwinds of global uh, slowdown. Plus, with the co uh, with the rise of this pandemic and uh, and subsequent spread, sir, the economies across the world have suffered a major setback, and thus the exports export demand has also decreased to an extent. That is since 19, but I am talking about the period 2013 to 19. Sir, in 13, our trade was 318. It is in 19 also it was 330. almost uh, no growth in 6 years so i am not aware of the exact reasons for the uh, decline in the trade between this particular gap but so i am i can make a calculated guess of some reasons with your permission earlier we used to have a very robust relationship with southeast asian economies trade relationship uh, but uh, uh, 2014 onwards we have been pursuing a policy of linking to the west and perhaps we have ignored our relationship with the southeast asian countries what is your own observation sir sir i feel that we have walked the path of strengthening our relations with our neighbors as well as with the southeast asian countries on the forums like brics asean and we are trying to engage with more with vietnam and uh, trying to consolidate our relationships uh, with even japan so uh, sir i i think that we are strengthening our, our, our relationship with our immediate neighbor is not also very good our relationship with sri lanka maldives pakistan of course nepal also uh, why uh, what kind of policy direction we are having nowadays sir our relations in general with all our neighbors are satisfactory yes there are some issues which needs to be addressed but at large our uh, relations with these countries are 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 in a good direction and uh, diplomacy is at the work and uh, when it regards to uh, sir policy implications so uh, the po the pol main policy line is for strengthening the relationships with the 
south east asian bloc and our immediate neighbors as uh, it has been raised by our honorable prime minister neighboring countries first after he came to the power in 2014 so unemployment has been rising participation of women in labor force is also declining in spite of decline in labor force participation of women their unemployment has been rising and overall unemployment is also rising our trade is declining unemployment is rising inflation is also rising do you think that economic policy making after dissolution of planning commission is moving in the right direction and in the right momentum is there sir i believe that our economic policy uh, is moving in a right direction yes it is facing challenges because the geopolitics and the geoeconomics in the world is changing rapidly and our policy is also being is trying to respond to it as much as possible so when it comes to uh, employment yes it is true that the uh, women labor force participation is declining but as has been pointed out in the economic survey 2019 and 20 our economy is shifting from an agricultural based economy to a uh, service sector and manufacturing sector based economy so though the economy seems to be in a state of rise but the number of jobs which are produced by the service sector in general seems to be in a decline so and secondly uh, sir economic survey also points out that um, presently many women in the working age group are undergoing higher courses higher degree of courses pursuing graduation and above so in a probably in some time probably 10 or 15 years down the line we would see a higher participation of the women in the labor force and the third major point uh, which the economic survey points to is that there are some women who are content in being serving as homemakers because the salary of the spouses in general are on rise do you think this is a patriarchal argument no sir i don't think so it's a patriarchal argument because it is an individual perspective okay thank you pooja pooja yes ma'am what are the problems faced by women police officers in our country ma'am the first is of course patriarchy which is very prevalent the second um balancing between the home and the uh, official responsibilities third often not given equal responsibility and a challenging job and confined to desk work fourth safety issues most important is harassment and sexual harassment at the workplace fifth uh, ma'am difficulties in transportation and safety of the children at home especially for the lower ranks in the police services like the constabulary because of lack of child care uh, crutches and day care centers very well said what are the guidelines for uh, sexual harassment at work workplace ma'am sexual harassment at the workplace act mandates that there should be in an of in an organization um, where less than 20 people to the best of my knowledge are there there should be an internal complaints committee who should monitor if there is any case uh, comes to their notice for sexual harassment and in all those organizations which where such a committee cannot be established because of lower manpower so in a district there is a local complaints uh, authority which has to be established okay uh you are a dental doctor yes ma'am so tell me what are veneers veneers ma'am if there is a, a partial or a slight discoloration or malformation of the tooth structure then veneers is an uh, external appliance which is given for restoring the tooth to its normal structure okay and uh, uh, how is oral health related to overall health of a person ma'am ma'am oral hygiene is one of the major indicators of the oral health of a person for example there are many diseases like diabetes mellitus or hypertension or even some form of cancers whose and even the presently covid 19 whose uh, covid 19 associated mucor mycosis whose uh, initial signs and symptoms were first noticed in the oral cavity so ma'am oral hygiene can give us a direct picture of the health of the person in general your optional was anthropology yes ma'am uh, tell me why is that that humans are the only species in genus homo and uh, you know there are where are the other species of our genus ma'am sorry i could not understand your question there is a homo sapiens so in this genus homo there is only one species sapiens where are the other species of this genus ma'am other species like homo erectus homo habilis homo neanderthalis neanderthals they all evolved and over a period period of time disappeared from the planet earth so presently at this point of evolution we have homo sapiens which is the homo sapiens sapiens which is presently at the point of evolution but why they disappeared is there some reason yes ma'am 
मैम बिकॉज ऑफ द फोर्सेज ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस दिस स्पीशीज दे कुड नॉट सर्वाइव इन टू द इन्वायरमेंट एंड दे वर नॉट सेलेक्टेड बाई द नेचर सो दे डिसअपियर्ड फ्रॉम द अर्थ ओके माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू एज अ पुलिस ऑफिसर यू कैन सर्व वुमेन बेटर बिकॉज यू यू कैन हैव डायरेक्टली यू कैन डायरेक्टली हेल्प वुमेन इन डिस्ट्रेस यू आर यू विल बी हेल्पिंग वुमेन रिप्रजेंट इन अ सर्विस इन अ फोर्स एंड यूनिफॉर्म सर्विस then why do you want to switch it to ias except just not the diversity thing what other factors do you think are responsible for your choice ma'am for me the only reason which i can think of which makes the indian administrative service and indian police service different is the diversity of the choice and the diversity of the opportunities it gives me to serve for example when it comes to women in police service i might get confined to law and order or helping them in times of distress but when it comes to a uh, indian administrative service i can go beyond to health care to sanitation to education and maternal health care child health care and can help them in all those domains so ma'am this is my only uh, reason thank you okay pooja so you are uh, bds and also have anthropology optional so uh, please tell us after the discovery of fire uh which kind of uh, physiological changes happened in human sir after the discovery of fire there was no need of very sharp teeth and oral musculature so there were many bones for example the sagittal crest the supraorbital ridges which reduced the teeth became less sharper and more uh, rounder in appearance then with the discovery of fire they could also eat cooked meat so the uh force overall on the jaws reduced so with the passage of time the jaws also became smaller and much more uh, less denser as they were in our ancestors any other physiological changes apart from teeth sir okay. the muscles and the bone size for example the sagittal crest the supraorbital ridges because all these muscles in the jaw bone eventually attaches to the skull so there was no need of heavy supraorbital ridges so it reduced in okay, size okay recently china has claimed about a new species human species uh, china is saying it's longi man or dragon have you gone through uh, this news no sir i am not aware don't have sir. any idea sorry, sir. Sorry. okay very recently a woman constable attempted for suicide due to the uh, harassment of uh, senior officials are you aware of that sir i am not aware of the case in particular okay you are not. okay you are the doctor and also your hobby is cooking so please tell us two things uh, which material is uh, best for the cooking pot and which oil is best for uh, the cooking sir earthen pot to my knowledge to the best of my knowledge is best for cooking any uh, food and when it comes to oil sir i am not aware of the exact oil okay uh national police academy why npa is named after sardar vallabh bhai patel sir sardar vallabh bhai patel has laid a major uh, major he made played a major role in establishing the imperial police into the indian police service so uh okay 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 a uh, last question from my side uh, i am giving you a hypothetical situation you have to answer suppose uh, you are given a assistant and uh, there are two choices one is male and other is female both are equally competent both are equal in all parameter with whom you would like to go sir if uh, i am given a choice then i i am ready to go with anybody and work with anyone no you have to choose one sir i would go with a woman why sir because uh, the employment of the women in the workforce is already less so if it gives me an opportunity through a woman i can perhaps a help a family and help her in empowerment so sir i would go with a female okay thank you pooja that's all from my side sir pooja sir by training you were in a police officer or you would be and uh, you're optional as an anthropology yes sir uh, tell me how you would use the broken window theory in terms of uh, maintaining law and order situation uh, wherever you would be posted in the district sir i am not aware of this broken window theory sir sorry sir no problem Are you aware of the consolidated sinking fund, which was very much in news nowadays? Sir, consolidated sinking fund uh, is basically established for the 
um, times of distress for helping the economy and it was used in the covid times for helping the states who were uh, in a very stressed situation in the in the when it comes to monetary terms right when it was established sorry sir i have no clue no problem that. there are the uh, pucha you see uh, there are the three global indexes i am mentioning this uh, first is the global hunger index second is the freedom of press index and the third is the global gender gap index global gender, gender gap, gap index, index yes, right sir. uh suppose you happen to be uh, posted in a district as in a in the position of a district collector a magistrate and you have to choose one of you know the uh, uh, indexes to work upon that which particular index you would like to choose and work uh so pardon me sir can you repeat which was the second index second index is the world press index global world, world freedom index. Uh, index so sir i would go with the global hunger index Mm -hmm. because i think that uh, with a hungry hungry stomach i cannot make people do work or contribute effectively in the workforce so to improve my gender gap and uh, gender gap index i have to go i understand i understand uh, so which parameters you would take into account to improve the situation uh, so that you know the index you know could go up i mean to say india could you know do well so sir i would go by targeting with the age and the children uh, for example some children are positioned in the uh, i can target them at the level of anganwadis some up to the age of 6 years then above that i can i can target those children at the level of the schools by providing them midday meals you are talking about the age i am talking about the parameters so like you know malnourishment stunting, stunting and all that okay. yes exactly so uh, are you aware of no, amrit sen concept of exchange entitlement decline even though we do have the national food security act still we are starving nation in this context amar sen has propounded this uh, explanation are you aware of that no sir sorry sir no problem you being a police officer uh, most oftenly uh, you would be hearing hate speeches you know coming out different corners of society and the people social media and many other platforms what are those uh, provisions which have been made to curb these hate speeches sir there are various sections in the uh indian penal code and the criminal procedure code then we have certain acts like uh, i am forgetting uh, presently the name of the acts no problem uh, what is the definition of the terrorism uh, under uapa sir sorry sir you may I have been taught I, sir i know the i don't know the exact definition under uapa what is the terrorism according to you how you define terrorism sir can i take a minute mm -hmm. yes so sir any international activity that disturbs public order peace and national integrity is terrorism according to me sir right uh, taking this uh, you know definition you know by this very definition high court of delhi high court in the month of the june has come up with the, its understanding that uh, all terrorists are the criminals but not all the criminals are the terrorist is it true yes sir thank you sir okay puja so i've been watching you very carefully in all these conversations i'm uh, yet to uh, arrive at any conclusion but can you tell me in last uh, uh, few months uh, uh, since you are into academy what changes you observe in your own personality so sir i think i have become much more confident and uh, i understand myself now more better and third sir i have become uh, more open to new challenges which academic life throws at us okay you are basically from delhi yes sir uh, uh, which part of delhi sir northwest delhi sir northwest delhi if you look at northwest delhi uh, not just northwest delhi but uh, particularly about northwest delhi you have uh, gulabi bag you have roshnara bag you have shalimar bag you have uh, uh, kudesia bag Delhi has lot of bags. What exactly uh, these gardens were aimed at? Why so many gardens were established in Delhi, and uh, how it has impacted the uh, native uh, flora fauna of Delhi? So, sir, though I don't know the exact reason why Gulabi Bag was named Gulabi Bag, or all these bags have been named. No, named is not my concern. Why were they uh, grown at all? i mean uh, delhi was uh, delhi has its own uh, flora fauna uh, right good or bad uh, when delhi was established uh, 
all these baths were established, uh, were uh, curated around Delhi. Why? Sir, with your permission, sir, can I make a guess? Because I don't know the exact reason for it. Okay. Sir, I think Delhi is a landlocked state, is a landlocked city. So, these uh, gardens have been purposely created for first improvement of the environment, then second, in the Mughal times, then gardens were a major source of beautification of the monuments. Then third, many of these gardens also helps in groundwater recharge and Delhi always being a water deficit state or a... Uh, this garden could help in underground water recharges of the aquifers. Well, since you mentioned this uh, water scarcity thing, I don't understand why uh, Delhi you said is a water scarcity. It was, after all, it was established on the bank of river Yamuna and not just river Yamuna. If you remember, you are again coming from uh, northwest Delhi, there are uh, there, this pul mithai, the pul bangash, there, there, there's a, several pools there, which effectively means there was a river or at least a canal. So, so over years that there has been encroachments on the Ganga floodplains and extent, uh, extensive uh, concretization. In Delhi. Sorry, sir, uh, I, I take my words back, sir. Uh, Yamuna floodplains and then encroachments uh, and then. You're not happy discussing the flora fauna of Delhi. How environment friendly are you? So I, I am an environment friendly person and uh, they, I was coming to the point of Aravalis. So Aravalis earlier and in the present times, there has been a tremendous degradation in the Aravalis, which has been one of the major reasons for decline of the water table in the Delhi region. Okay. If I stay again on the uh, flora fauna thing, have you ever been to Yamuna Biodiversity Park? No, sir. Uh, Okhla bird century? I have not visited the place, sir. So, in Delhi, if uh, I want to uh, um, talk about, say, environment, can you name one place you can say with authority that I know this place? Any environment friendly, I mean, a place concerned with environment in Delhi. Any forest, any marshes, any wetland, any museum? Sir, does uh, the Delhi Zoological Park also falls in this category? Yeah, it does. Uh, for, so it I does. Have visited... What is the source of water in Delhi Zoological Park? Sir, I have no clue on that, sir. Sorry, no sir. Idea. Uh, name one species in Delhi Zoological Park which you believe is the most important attraction of the zoo. Sir, uh, I think it is the tiger which is the most... Uh... Which tiger? There are at least three uh, major species I can remember. Sorry, sir. I don't have an exact idea on this which I mean there is white tiger so there is the royal so. bengal tiger there is uh, another tiger but uh, no problem fine uh, puja it was nice talking to you your interview is over you can go now thank you sir Pooja, what was your score when you got selected in, I mean, interview? Sir, it was 143. 143. So, uh, obviously not the best. So. Uh, bad day or you believe that uh, it was a fair assessment on that day? So, probably a bad day. It was bad. Uh, and what is your take on today's uh, performance of yours? You believe that uh, you, uh, you did well or you believe there are areas you need to improve? Sir, I believe there are areas to improve. Uh, how much time are you able to devote to uh, the preparation thing uh, nowadays? Sir, not much. No. Not much. Do, do you believe that it, this is playing uh, some role in uh, not being fully prepared right now? Sir, yes, sir. See, uh, Pooja, uh, I'll be very candid with you. you you've been through uh, the mill, you understand how the process is. You are already a sitting officer, you understand what is expected from you and what are the areas where you believe that you can do better. So. Uh, you are in a uh, good position to analyze. My un uh, understanding, I've been um, taking these interviews for quite some time. I've interviewed IPS candidates also who uh, plan to get into IAS. And uh, I've been saying it uh, to them uh, for many years now. The only way you can get be elevated is that, uh, uh, I mean, by, uh, by performing average, it, will not, it won't, right? You'll be expecting to get very, very good marks in interview and obviously doing well in uh, uh, mains also. So, uh, when uh, we go for uh, uh, good marks, we, when we pitch ourselves for say 190 plus, the idea is that uh, we should play on the front foot, right, proactively, rather than uh, uh, relatively a defensive uh, uh, staunch, right. 
So my understanding is that right now you're doing everything right. I mean, is you're a good candidate. Your your personality is pleasant. Your entry is good. Your sitting posture is good. Uh, you know how to speak. In general, your vocabulary is not weak. So uh, on the check checklist thing, uh, the most checklist uh, you're getting tick. Uh, but then it will take you to a certain level. Beyond that, it is the uh, that extra calculated risk or extra calculative uh, proactive uh, things that will be helpful. Right now, I believe that you are not not doing that enough. You are not engaging in a conversation that is organic in nature, and that is uh, uh, something that uh, will bring value to the uh, deliberation. It is becoming more of a question answer session. Question answers are good, good for average. But if you want to get very very good, then you have to go beyond this question answer thing. So what will, what should happen is ideally the uh, the conversation should become organic. It should it should go at least three steps. So if uh, I'm starting the conversation, you're answering, then there should be a thread which I'll pick up and uh, uh, further discuss. Then there'll be a thread you'll pick up and it, it will become an organic conversation. That is not happening to that extent. One reason may be uh, because you said you're short of time, so you have not prepared certain areas. So uh, uh, maybe lack of information at a few places is, uh, is the reason, but uh, I, I'm sure you can work on that. And there are areas, uh, especially in anthropology, the recent development and things like that. Maybe uh, uh, revising them will help. Otherwise, in general, you are a good, good person. And uh, I'm sure the board will be very happy to interact with you. When you're discussing about this uh, CADR thing, uh, I believe it can uh, you can rephrase uh, the entire thing. There was a fumble, if you uh, noticed. There was a fumble when uh, you were discussing it. And, uh, we decided his cadder is 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 uh, is not really the best way of putting uh, it, Sorry. right? Even if that is the case, rather than saying we decided this, I think I, I'll prefer you to say I took this is in that uh, UP will be a better cadder in comparison to Telangana, right? I mean, uh, since this option was available, either he'll shift to Telangana or you'll shift to UP, rather than saying that uh, uh, we decided to go uh, my husband's cadder. Uh, I think it's better to uh, uh, rephrase it in a uh, different way. Other things, generally happy. Please see uh, the um, Delhi th a little better. And if you're choosing UP, maybe uh, read a bit UP also. If you're going to mention Telangana, do read a bit Telangana also, right? Other things, I'm really happy. You, you're you good at analysis. Uh, so, anal uh, uh, generally analytical uh, question you're handling well, right? Sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind, sir.